Recently, we were horrified. I'm not sure of which Canadian town, but Terry, you remember this, that there was a tableau in which the assassination, the assassination of former Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was celebrated in a tableau. You had the tableau where you had mock-ups of terrorists shooting her and the blood oozing out. And this is happening on the streets of a Canadian city. A, a, a political assassination carried out uh, was being celebrated. Uh, is, this, is this something that's normal in Canada? Is Canada going to normalize this? I mean, also, Terry, normalized. where's the conscience yes. here? In, in, in the Kanishka it, bombing happened in 1985. How many Canadians died? 329 innocent people died. 88 children were killed. 88 children were killed. Right? The report was only published in 2010. And the main person behind it, Parmar, is yet to be convicted. A person involved right, in the killing of 329 people in a, in a plane bombing is hanging around loose on the streets of Canada, maybe shopping in a mall next to you. Are Canadians okay with this? Is this a rule of law, Terry? Why are these debates no, not happening in Canada? It's, it's not. And I've been ranting about it for 20 years. I mean, you take the example, that was Brampton, Ontario, was the city where they had this grotesque uh, tableau on the back of a flatbed truck celebrating the assassination of Indira, Indira Gandhi. There you have the pictures, and you see the extra red paint splattered over her sari so that children really get the message. This yes. was a bloody affair, and we're proud of it. We, we're, this was a great thing that we did here. Yes, Canadians have normalized, bit by bit, inch by inch, the celebration of terrorism all over Canada. This was in Brampton, Ontario. What about the life-size pictures on the wall of a major Gurdwara in Surrey, on, uh, British Columbia, showing uh, a gorgeous, heroic martyr picture with ceremonial sword and ornate turban of Talvinder Palmar, the really? Kanishka bomber, the worst mass murderer in Canadian history. What about more recently, these Sikhs for Justice killer posters uh, uh, painting targets on the backs of Indian diplomats by calling them killers? You know, uh, and not just Canadian di uh, Indian diplomats in Canada, by the way, but Indian diplomats all over the world were named and shamed and photographed and their names shown, identified as killers, so that if any nut happens to get the message and happens to have a gun or a knife, he might be able to act on it. And they offered cash rewards. Did you know this? Cash rewards for their home addresses of these yes. uh, targeted yes. diplomats, including the Sikh uh, ambassador in the United States from India. I mean, so so this is what, what we call normal in Canada, and you can see why uh, people might have been ranting, as I have, for 20 years I, 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 I mean, that this would, that would, be, it would, it wouldn't be it that... Be an no, but then I, I'm... I, where I, we're done but, with but that. How, uh, how is how is this how is this not being debated in Canada, Brahma? If I hear this, and I, I completely I appreciate your empathy with the issue, Terry, and I can see there's a strong journalistic instinct which finds what is going on immoral. But how is that not part of a debate? Why aren't people in Canada asking? You know, in the process of sort of strengthening his short-term political position, uh, he's he's no ruining. He's going to long-term isolate no Canada and ruin Canada. And also also Brahma also Brahma maybe maybe 